Do you ever wonder if you're a Christian, what paradise will look like? I think it will look a little like this. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maud Chifamba, the CA. I am here uh, talking about travel because we are in travel month. So today we're talking about the destination that is Vumba. If you're new here, welcome or welcome. If you're a new viewer or if you're a regular viewer, please subscribe to the channel. There's a button um, here that asks you to subscribe to this channel. And if you're enjoying this content, it's the list you came to, baby girl. Oh, man. Thank you so much for subscribing. And now that you've done that, we can get into the video. As I've already said, my name is Moad. I am a chartered accountant living and working in Zimbabwe. I make videos about careers, mainly about chartered accountants because I'm one. Hello. And also we talk about finance because first generation uh, graduates from a low income household. Money is going to be something we need to talk about or even people from money household we need to talk about money sometime. Fortunately for you, we're talking about money next month. So good. And then I also make content about travel and uh, the goal is to just encourage you to visit zimbabwe and to take it all in so in this video we are covering the beautiful vumba we went to vumba because it was my beloved brother's birthday if you don't know Moku, i don't know what you're doing on this channel but it was my brother's birthday so we ended up just going to vumba and uh from there i just tried to keep track of the course and just to make sure that i have everything that you need for a Vumba informational so as usual we start with how far is Vumba from harare Vumba is about 287 290 kilometers from harare then that you should then add to that how much you are living like where you're living are you living in vumba or are you going to live in mutare to sort of like add to the total distance that you need to travel and anyways there is no airport that i know in vumba but i've heard of people taking helicopters to vumba where they land i don't know and i kind of don't really care right now because i'm not the target market yet but i will at some point be a target market so the thing is you will drive to Vumba. Uh when we went there we used a very small car and this is where I put the highlight of hiring cars. If you want to hire a car for travel, if you want a reliable car, if you don't want to be having the stress of your car dying while you're deep deep in the forest, please 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 go to Nucleus Car Hire. I vouch for their cars. I have used them and have not had any problems. So a small car will do in Vumba, but it will not do if you want to chase waterfalls because the waterfalls are sort of to, tend to be located in very natural environments and those environments unfortunately do not have quite clear roads so you would need a car with high clearance but you can still enjoy Vumba with a car that does not have high clearance so a person that goes to Vumba is that person that is looking for paradise basically again like nyanga it's not a place where you go to party really because i don't see how that will happen unless you're just doing it with your own people that you are with but i don't see how that will happen with people that you're not with if you get what i'm saying uh and vumba is right out of mutare so you get to mutare and then you get you then drift off to go to vumba in vumba uh network is a mess it's, it's just a place where you go to disconnect it's just disconnect from the world so that's why i'm saying the vibe there should be looking for paradise and chasing waterfalls where to stay in vumba so i've been to mutare for work i mean i think i spent half of my time at Deloitte in Mutare because I would order to like companies that are based in Mutare. So I sort of mm, love sort of 
know and love the place so so much but where to stay you can stay in mutare and commute to vumba every day it's possible it's not too taxing i think it's less than 20 kilometers away from Tar, so it's very easy to commute uh so you can stay in Tar and in Mutari there there's accommodation that is as cheap as 16 dollars per night i am not even kidding there's a place called pure i stayed there for a day or two and it was for the price point it was okay but there is uh there are also hotels like the holiday in mutare there's also this beautiful is it manika it's manika something where we once had dinner at some point it's gorgeous and then there are a lot of airbnbs please please if you're going to mutare use airbnb to look first before you get into these expensive hotels of course if you like self cutting options i found uh, a place using airbnb this i found a place to stay right in vumba and it was called fiona's place it could take six people <gasps> guys <gasps> that place please look at us Mm, it's gorgeous it's not um it does not look like new it has been there for a while but it is well maintained it has a fireplace as usual beautiful beautiful kitchen and even like a table outside to eat from outside like taking in the views it has a pool like there's a smaller pool and a bigger pool then it has like views of mozambique like during the night you're seeing uh, mozambique then the rooms so it's three bedrooms all bedrooms are like proper proper bedrooms and it is a master in the master is is, is an in suit an in suit so you have your own bathroom if you're in the master bedroom then there are other two other bedrooms and then there's another bath there are two bathrooms so there's a shower shower in one bathroom and then a shower in another so it's basically it's three bedroom three bathrooms i mean so it's a three bed three bath and if you have kids they have beds for kids in each of the rooms i think so they can you can sleep like two single beds i think in each of the rooms if i'm not mi mistaken to remember did i take pictures of the inside most likely not i'm bad at that but i'm going to improve as my vlogging game improves so that 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 was it the place goes for 125 dollars per night we booked one night because we literally left around saturday got there around 11 uh and then came back on sunday i totally 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 recommend fiona's place i'll put the um the in the description the contact for fiona tell her i referred her i referred you now we're going to figure out where to get your supplies things like fuel trigger warning there are no fuel stations in Vimbe. so if you don't have fuel while you're done there hey you have to i don't know whatever you have to do to find fuel there is no there is no fuel station in Vumba. there are no grocery stores in Vumba, but there are no there's not even anything there are no grocery stores so they rely on mutare so if you're going there you don't have to buy everything in harare you can literally just buy the things in mutare okay so that is that and if you figure out you don't have a lot of things or you don't have something that you needed while you're in vumba as i said the networking service is terrible there you can literally just drive to mutare and get all you need there's fast food in mutare pizzas uh, chicken in restaurants you can even go to restaurants in Mutare. so it is up to you really what you want to do my favorite category is activities what to do in Vumba. so the first thing that i'll do i'll say that we did was lunch at leopard rock have you guys watched the crown if you watch the crown you'd see you would know how princess margaret was very particular a particular test apparently she stayed at the leopard rock when she came to Harare, when she came to Zimbabwe, I mean, she stayed at the Leopard Rock. So at the Leopard Rock, uh, they offer accommodation and they also offer lunch. I've heard the owner is quite rude, but I did not interact with his rudeness. So I will not vouch for that. We went to Leopard Rock for lunch and look at this lunch spot. Take it in. It's okay. This lunch spot, we had lunch and for the five of us, it was only $90 and the, the food is quite well priced like it's not expensive and also they provided us with this ice cream because it was Moko's birthday they provided us with this ice cream 
like uh to say happy birthday Moko. i thought it was cute and then we sang for him i thought it was really nice then we had time to take in the hotel they have like very good golf courses there is a castle there um and they have various activities uh they've um game drive where you can feed ostriches i've heard but we do not do that but you can do that at leopold rock it's actually like an activity center that's number one then number two would you have gone to vimba if you don't go to the botanical garden it's five dollars per person to get into the bot botanical garden and it's perfection look at this just look at this so we ended up having a picnic because it was Muku's birthday and we carried cake so we ended up having a picnic a cake picnic right in this garden and it was beautiful beautiful very beautiful and we also had a lot of content to post <laughs> then after that we just went to the hotel and relaxed because that was about it we i don't remember what we did i think we were doing games uh or sleeping or because everyone is just so tired it's been a long day that's the downside of traveling on the day that you want to do activities because when you get to a place you'll be so tired you want to take a rest take a beat then start the activities the other day but well look at us anyway if you like nightlife you can go back to mutare there are always things happening in mutare but also uh you can try the white horse in it was packed there were cars there i don't know what they were doing but it looked like they would have fun then then on the second day that we woke up we wanted to do cake so we went for cake uh it was my cousin sis birthday so we ended up going to get a cake at tony's cafe I had heard of Tony's Cafe before. Uh, I had wanted to go, but unfortunately, the pocket could not allow at that time. But now I could. So we went to Tony's Cafe. When we went to Tony's Cafe, Tony is the nicest person. Like, oh, God bless his soul. Tony was very nice. We were served very well. We got two cake slices. Um, and then everybody got a drink. Everybody was drinking something else. Like, they have, like, he has like very interesting uh combinations of coffee and alcohol like he can have a uh a rum with coffee or like whiskey with coffee something like that and everybody had a drink and the total cost of our uh escapades at tony's cafe was about 100 bucks i was just like what just drinks and two slices of cake it's in it's the same amount as what we spent at leopard drug i was just like you know what this is a place where you come you do what you want to do and you leave you don't come back you take it off the pocket list but i mean <laughs> please go to tennis cafe she is the nicest is really like really really the nicest so yeah um then the second thing uh that to do at tony's cafe there are also beautiful views from the cafe there's also in the road that is where like the trees come together and they are conjoined in a very beautiful way it's a very good spot for pictures i think everyone who goes to vumba gets pictures there so yeah you can also get those pictures taken they, don't forget to take pictures there that is your cliche i was in vumba moment then the other activity that you can do in vumba is to chase waterfalls there are a number of waterfalls in vumba some of them don't even have names yet it's locals that know them like they don't have names for these waterfalls so there is marindi falls which is gorgeous this is marindi falls it's five dollars to get into the marindi falls and there's a car there's a park where you can do a picnic right before the falls and there's also Chinama, Chinamata, Chinamata Falls. And there's also Kwasabukum. So all you need is just somebody who knows how to get to these waterfalls. And most of them, they don't cost more than $3 to go. So one of the main things to do in Vumba is to chase waterfalls. Don't come back without chasing waterfalls. Then the other activity to do is... The other activity is the Prince of Wales view. As you're driving into Vumba, please make sure you stop by the Prince of Wales view. There's always uh, something happening there or like something to see. Like it's this place, like it's a high point where you get to see below it. If you go there in like January, February, you can literally see the sky, the the mist, and it looks like it's cloud. There are clouds. 
it's beautiful you should try it and also in the evening you start to see the trucks crossing the borders it's actually quite beautiful you get to see a bit of like mutare there is no charge to go to the prince of false views but there are people who sell statues there you can buy like a little heart thing or a little a little souvenir so buy something over there and support those artists because they are really really good at prince of false view then the other thing that you can do is before you actually get into mutar on your way enjoy the christmas pass and while enjoying the Christmas pass, make sure that you stop at the welcome to Mutari sign because I feel like people have invested in that sign. You should stop and take pictures. Stop and take pictures at the welcome to Mutari sign and enjoy the beautiful, beautiful drive within the Christmas pass. Then there's also something else called the world view. I don't have pictures of this, but if you're traveling on your way to leopard drug i think there's somewhere where they sell um aprons there's a hill that you can go up and then you start to see vumba in its beauty uh over there you should try world world's view then uh other activities that you can do in vumba is a drink at forest hills i'll put here a picture of me at forest hills make sure you visit if you you can also stay at forest hills they have um accommodation there i stayed there before it was beautiful their meals get monotonous after two days but it's beautiful you should visit forest hills and take a picture like this off your feed because it's just gorgeous views all through please buy an apron as you're driving those ladies that sell aprons those aprons are just so unique buy it and support them you can also go to hondevadi from from tare you know to go see the coffee farms i think it's beautiful and on right on the 10 to get into vumba there is the train there is the road to go to Bema valley where you can go see the banana plantations it's also beautiful but i don't have any pictures of when i went there because i did not go there on this trip so there is a lot that you can do in vumba you just need to plan well so that you budget your time and your and your money well so that it gets you the best of their experience tips for someone going to vumba number one if you want to chase waterfalls as i've said please have a high clearance car number two do not get to marindera without trying the serapies whether you're going to nyanga whether you're going to marindera whether you're going to vumba please try the seri pies they are to die for and i think they're a national treasure and then the other thing is pay look for a tour guide i'll put the tour guide that we use in the comment section for them to be able to take you to these places and just give you the tour guide that we had was very good because he, as you're walking he'll just get to a tree and say do you know this tree this is the what 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 it works like this 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 the history of this tree is that 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 and it was just so good to have somebody who's quite knowledgeable about the place and the vegetation to give us like context and stories to come and tell a lot of people so it cost us 15 dollars and there was like five of us so basically like three dollars per person for you to have somebody who is quite knowledgeable about the place so basically that was our cost for vumba uh, and my summary of the things that you can do there the total cost for us including food uh the food that we had was fast food then leopard drug then tennis cafe then lunch which was also fast food so it was about 560 there about for a team of five which made it about 100 dollars 110 112 per person that was the cost so this is the end of my vumba review as a destination it is quite fun and those are the kind of activities that you will find in vumba so please make a plan so that we will see you in vumba next time probably we'll just bump into each other in vumba and the goal and the plan and the message is visit zimbabwe <laughs> it's beautiful it is gorgeous